Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another video from JM Motors Unlimited. Today, I'm going to be working on pulling the interior out of my truck. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done, but I'm planning on pulling the seat out for sure. And I may just pull the seat out for now and like the boots around the shifters and stuff. Because I'm going to be painting the floor. I'm going to paint it and then put either like a bed liner or a, a, a undercoating or something on it to keep it from rusting out because I got a little, of that, little bit of that problem now not too bad yet but I'm going to be pulling all this stuff out of it or up where I, where I can paint around it <clears throat> and I'm going to probably pull that out because I tried to repaint it but it didn't work and I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and pull all this out like the headliner and stuff I'm going to eventually be doing that because I'm going to paint it. And I'm going to pull a, the uh, dash pad off and all the, the trim and stuff. So I can paint all the dash and everything. But I'm going to see how far I get. I'm probably just going to get ready to paint the floor because that's like the main thing I need to do right now. So that's probably all I'm going to do today. So I'm going to get started. So that wasn't too bad. I got the seat out and got to pull these seat belts out, but that'll be easy. This wire, I didn't know this, this wire goes to the uh, safety light for the seat belt. I didn't realize that until I took the seat out and saw it, but I may just do away with that because I don't need that and it doesn't work anyway. It never came on. But after I, I'm gonna pull the seat belts out and pull all the wires and stuff out, and then I'm gonna get the wire wheel and just wire wheel all this old steam sealer out where it's rotten and rusted and everything. And this floorboard isn't too bad, it's just got a little surface rust. But the passenger side has some little pit holes and stuff not bad but a few so it's got all these wires I don't know what that goes to and I pulled that off I'm gonna clean all that up get all that cleaned up and painted too but I'm gonna just get the seat belts out and I'll probably go ahead and pull these out and pull these up and then I'm gonna start wire wheel and try to get the floor all clean
So this is just some rust converter that we got on sale at the co-op. I'm just going to put this on there to help stop some of the rust before I paint it. You just paint it on here. And then wait. I think it says 24 hours. I'm going to have to check. And then <clears throat> put another coat. I'm going to put a couple coats. Probably three or four. And then put three or four coats of paint. And then maybe some undercoating. Because I do not want this to rust out. I've already done this to the bottom. So that's about it for tonight. It's getting pretty dark, getting hard to see, even though I have the light in there. But it's getting kind of late and I got school work to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head on in. And I'm probably gonna pick this back up tomorrow evening. And hopefully I can get the other side uh, buffed down and all the rust cleaned out and get the rest of it uh, painted with the rust converter. So. I'm not sure how much more I'll be able to get done tomorrow, but hopefully I'll be able to get at least that done. And this, I'm supposed to upload this. Hopefully I'll be able to upload this video on Saturday. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, though. But we'll see. So that's about it for tonight. So I'll pick this back up tomorrow. So I came out the other night and worked on my truck some more. And I got the whole floor all wire wheeled down. And I got a coat of black paint on it. I just brushed it. You can see some of the brush marks and drips. I wasn't real careful about it. I just wanted it on thick so it wouldn't rust. But I got a coat on it. And you can see some holes. Got a hole here. 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 There's a little dent there. I'm not worried about the dents. There's a hole here. And there's a couple holes along this back edge. But I'm just worried about the holes. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about those yet. But I'm going to just patch them somehow. And I'm going to put, I got one coat of paint on it. I'm going to put two more coats of paint. And then I got some rubberized undercoating from O'Reilly's. I got two cans, two full cans I just got. And I think I got a partial can. And this old can, I'll probably use that up too. But I'm going to put two or three coats of the undercoating on it after I put the paint on it. Because I don't want any chance of this thing... Uh, rusting out again. I did the same thing under the bottom put paint and then undercoating so I may end up putting a little more under here just to be on the safe side I don't know but I just blew it out and had a lot of dust and stuff in it but I'm gonna go ahead and start putting another coat of paint on so I got the floor all painted with two coats kind of hard to see because of the bad lighting I just got a drop light in here but it looks pretty good so I painted it earlier today and it's still a little sticky not bad not bad enough for me to not be able to put a another coat on it what am I doing there we go it's not bad enough for me to not be able to put another coat on it I'm gonna put one on tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to put the undercoating on. This undercoating doesn't take long to dry. So, I got it all painted last night. Came out looking good. That's three fairly heavy coats. It's all dry and everything. So, I have some painter's tape. 
and I'm gonna tape around the edges here and here all the way around and around the shifters and everything and the pedals so I don't get undercoating on them because that stuff's gonna be extremely hard to get off I don't want to have to go through that so I'm gonna just tape it all off real quick and then I'm gonna start undercoating So I got the whole thing taped off, everything that needs to be taped. So I'm going to set up and I'm going to start undercoating. So that's one good heavy coat. And it says it takes about 10 minutes to dry, so I'll probably give it 15 or 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna put at least one more coat. I probably got enough for two coats on just the floor pans. I'm not worried about this rusting out. I've never seen a truck rust up here under the seat. So I might, I might just leave it like this. That's three coats of paint and one coat of undercoating and just use the rest of what I have up on the floor pans because that's what I'm worried about is going to rust out especially that one it's already got a rust hole in it that I have to fix but that's where I'm at now I'm going to give it a little while to dry and probably just use the rest of what I have up on the floor pans So I got my floor finished, the undercoating is all pretty much dry to touch. Well, it's not in a few places. Kind of messed it up there. It got messed up here. I 
accidentally set something on it before it was dry. But this part's dry, but I'll put it on a lot thicker on the floorboard so it's still not quite dry there. But it's only got a few little pinholes. There's one there, there, and right here. Just a little bit of pinhole. That one's not even big as my finger. No. no, it is. But I'm just gonna take and we got some sheet metal from our air conditioned man. He makes the air conditioned ducts and stuff. And I'm just gonna take some sheet metal and cut out however big it needs to be and just screw it down. We got some little self tapping screws and just screw it down on top of all the holes. And I'm gonna have to put a little more undercoating on this where it got all messed up. And I'm just going to undercoat straight over the top of it and not worry about it because that'll keep stuff from coming up through it, which is what I'm worried about moisture and stuff, mainly water. But that's the plan, that's what we've done before, and it's always worked out good. So that's what I'm gonna try on this one. So I'm gonna try to, I'm not gonna include that in this video, I'm gonna try to make another video about it because it's not dry. So Y'all can watch for that video. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and others. And y'all can go check out JM Motors Unlimited, uh, JM Motors Unlimited on Facebook and Instagram too. Where I post pictures of stuff like as I'm working on it. And as I'm making the videos, I'll post pictures of it and then upload the videos. So, if you want to check out that, you can. JM Motors Unlimited on Instagram. I appreciate it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and please subscribe to my channel.